In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a scroll bar animation that looks like this. On the left, I have the content, and on the right, I have the scroll bar. So when I click on a scroll bar and I scroll down, you can see that it is scrolling down. I leave it there, it sticks. Scroll bar, I pull it up. It's going to stick at the top. Right, but without further ado, let me just uh, get straight to uh, how you go about actually building this on Figma. By creating a really long uh, paragraph, all right? So let me just uh, give it a title first. Um, some title. And as for the uh, description, instead of 24px, I'm going to change it to 16px. For the uh, descriptions, I'm going to use a lot of ipsum. So I'm going to use a plugin over here. So right click, plugins, find more plugins. I'm using this. Click run. Uh, type in the amount of words or sentence paragraphs you would like. So let me say, um, I don't know, let's say uh, uh, two. Two, two um, paragraph, right? I'll select paragraph. So it has created two paragraph for me. Okay, it is really long. So uh, let me just make it squash it a little bit. All right, this is a really long text. All right, so now I have a title and I have the description, a super long description. Select the title and the description, right click, add auto layout. Um, for the spacing between the items, let's change it to 16px. For the paddings, I'm going to give it 16, 16 on all sides. Give it a white fill. So let's just call this frame content. All right. The next thing that I want to do is to create this scroll bar. So I'm going to use a rectangle. Rectangle. Just draw a scroll bar. Change the border radius to 100. Right click, add auto layout for the uh, wrapper for the scroll bar. Give it a light gray feel. As for the scroll bar itself, I'm going to give it a darker gray. Okay, just to make it more obvious. Okay, for the paddings of the uh, scroll bar wrapper, I'm going to change it to 8px by 8px. Okay, great. So now that we have the content and the scroll bar, I will start to add in a frame that, uh, you know, just to showcase uh, how it works. So in this case, I'm going to start to... Um, actually, I don't even need to use any of this because since I'm just going to be doing a demonstrations, I'm just going to be drawing something of, uh, you know, any dimension any proportions just to showcase how, how it works um, i can just draw a frame let's just call this uh, showcase uh, container i'm gonna bring in my content bring it up a little and i'm gonna bring in my scroll bar for my content and my scroll bar uh right click on both of them and add an auto layout. So let me just drag this auto layout to fill the entire width. As for the content, I'm gonna use a few container for the width. I think there's a too much spacing for the body. So let me just change it from 55 to zero. All right. For the uh, content description, change the width to fill container. All right, great. And for the scroll bar, I'm going to change it to fill container first. And oh, I realized that this is a little bit too long. So let me just do a, a command Z or control Z if you are on Windows. And I'm going to change the I'm going to give the content This is the content Which is the left hand side Right click on the content 
and do a frame selection give it a frame all right so let me call this a content wrapper for the content wrapper i will make the height of the content wrapper, uh, wrapper to be the same as the uh, showcase a uh, container height so in this case let me see what is the showcase uh, container height it is a uh, 304 so for the content wrapper i'm gonna change the height to 304 as well okay just to make sure that the content wrapper um, is indeed the same height i just need to check that is 304 and showcase container is 304 okay so that's correct that's great okay and the next thing that we need to do is to change the scroll bar height to fill the uh, container now the next thing that i'll be doing these are just the details um i would like to have the uh, scroll bar to reflect uh, the uh, sort of like the uh, correct proportion uh, relative to the uh, total height of the uh, content itself like how much am I viewing as compared to uh, how much is the uh, total uh, content that I'm supposed to view uh, I, I don't know whether that makes sense but let me just show you so I will go back into the content I can see that the height of the content is 1103 and if I were to go back to the scroll bar itself let me just change the scroll bar height to a uh, fill container i realized that the scroll bar is 22288 right and the current content that i'm viewing is 304 so i will have to multiply the height of 288 by 304 over 1103 so let me just do that i'm going to change the scroll bar from a uh, height from fill container to fixed height 288 multiply by 304 um over oh my goodness i kind of forget what is it okay let me just write it down so it's 1103 And the height of the scroll bar is 288. Okay. So 288. Oops, sorry. I shouldn't use uh, 288 over here. I should be using the height of the showcase container, which is 304. Let me go to the scroll bar again. Fix height 288 multiplied by 304 over 1103. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to create a component for this uh, showcase container. Create container and add variant. Let me just change the property, uh, the, the, the key to be called, um, I don't know, let's say view. For the one at the top, I'm going to change it to top. For the one bottom at the bottom, I'm going to change it to bottom okay now we're gonna see the second component the one right below all i have to do is to just move the content within the content wrapper move it all the way up all right just move it all the way up just slowly move it up okay okay I have moved it all the way up so right now i'm actually showing the uh, content right at the bottom as for the scroll bar i'll just have to uh, do a bottom center alignment click on it you realize that this scroll bar is dropped right to the bottom okay so the last thing that we need to do is to connect the scroll bar click on prototype connect the scroll bar to the bottom view and for the interactions instead of on click we're going to use on drag on drag change view to bottom animations going to be smart animate do the same for the bottom connect to the top on drag 
uh, smart animate as well. All right. So just to sh uh, see that it works, I'm gonna create a frame just to showcase the uh, container itself. Um, do I really need to actually? No, really let me just delete this first. Let me go to assets and find showcase container. Copy it here. Prototype, flow starting point. Let's call this uh, start here. Click on play. Okay, let's hope that it works. Okay, it looks a little bit small. <laughs> uh, hold on. For this show prototype, I'm gonna do a custom size instead. Okay. Go to fill screen. Okay. Let me try to drag the scroll bar down. You can see that I can start scrolling on this prototype. So that's how you go about creating a scroll bar animations. I understand the video is a little bit long, but I just want to show you how to create it from start to finish. So if you like more of such a video, you know, feel free to comment down below to let me know what are some of the things that you'd like to see. See you in the next video.